Oh, hallelujah. Blessed are they who labor in spirit. Blessed are they who say, I'm not going to sit and watch my life go to hell. I'm not going to sit and watch the devil have his way. I'm not going to sit and watch my country burning. I'm going to arise and go and inquire of the Lord. And I will see what he will say. Oh, Reba Ketaya Bazeke. Oh, Reba Shande Reba Zeke. Wanna see if you You may have your seats. Oh, Reba Kandara the Bible says that Elijah was just like us. I like this transition because it says he was subject to like passions as we are. If it is hunger, he felt hunger. If it is pain, he felt pain. He was just like you and I. He was just like you and I. And he made a prayer because he saw that they were no longer worshipping his God. It bothered him. He sat and said, I will not just sit and watch as they continue worshipping idols, as they continue making mockery of my God as they continue killing the prophets I will pray, I will pray, something must change in this nation, I will pray I will stand at the place and I will say at my word only shall there be rain on this land and they tried to worship their gods, they tried and went and gave sacrifices they tried and went to the priests they went and looked for even more priests and prophets of Baal and they say can you make us at least have some rain and they tried you know they would offer sacrifices of blood sacrifices of children they will beat themselves up no rain until at Elijah's word they tried and they went and imported prophets come and see maybe your gods will answer us no rain until at Elijah's word where is the Elijah of today who is going to stand for this land who is the Elijah who is going to stand at the marketplace? Who is going to stand at the media stations? Who is going to stand at the print media? Who is going to stand at the place of finances? And say, oh my word. Oh my word and my word alone. Because of the grace of Jehovah Jireh. Praise the Lord. Men like us behave differently. Men like us are not swayed by public opinion. They are not afraid of what anybody will say. They are swayed by a desire to see God glorified. So long as God is not glorified, they cannot be at rest. So long as they cannot see the purposes of God being accomplished in a generation. They cannot sit and relax. They will say, show me the mountain where I can go and pray. Show me the mountain. Show me that cave so I can intercede because there got to be a change. I am not going to sit and watch my generation go to hell. Hell is not a place you want even for your worst enemy. Even the one you don't like to see. Even the one you pretend to like. It's not a place you would wish for them. A place of eternal torment and torture. It's not a place you would want anyone to go. Yet Satan is nearing a generation. He is trapping them. He's trying to show that the God we serve is up to nothing. So he frustrates you. He frustrates your prayer. He makes you see as if the results of your prayer is only if you have money. If you don't have money, he doesn't answer you. He starts whispering, ah, oh, does your God not care that you are sleeping hungry tonight? Doesn't your Lord don't care that you don't have that latest shoe, that you don't have that car? See how your children are suffering. See how you don't have school fees. Your Lord doesn't care. But I care. Hmm. We are here tonight to say, I believe the report of the Lord. I believe what he says concerning me. I believe in him. That's why such gatherings are important. So that we can start each other unto faith. So that we may start getting direction about what, how should the body move from now henceforth. Where are we going? What is the direction the Holy Spirit is giving? And like ants in a line, we are following the king. Saying wherever he goes, I go. Like bees in a swarm. We are saying our king is king of kings. We are going to follow him where he goes, I go. Praise the Lord. Men like us just need to tuck our t-shirt. 
stuck in our shirt, guard it up with a belt of truth and start the journey. We don't need a chariot. Huh? We have supernatural divine speed. Let them go ahead. Let them go ahead with their eating. Imagine that. Telling a king, you go eat and be merry. But do you go to the secret place? Ha! Huh. Hey! I think he was the CIA of the time. Elijah, his name, just his name means Jehovah is my God. The name Elijah. So his name, even at the time, was an abomination. Because living in a place where they say Baal is God, your name itself, you, they, when the day, the, the day they say Elijah, they have already declared Jehovah is my God. <laughs> Can you imagine? They worship God, they say Baal is God. But if they call you by your name, Elijah, they just say Yahweh is God. The name El is a name in the Ar Arabic world that means God. That's why we find Mikael, Gabriel, El, and Jah. That's from the name Yahweh. <laughs> so again, when you call his name, you are just saying Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. <laughs> Praise God. Elijah is a man just like us. We are just like him. At some point, the Israelites have started believing that maybe Elijah was not like there's a time that he has started believing maybe he came and fell from heaven. And so there's a reason why James is writing this for us. So that we don't assume that he just fell from heaven and came, went back to heaven. Because most of his history is not known. However, it is known that he was a Tishbite. Just in case you didn't think, you thought he came from heaven, he was a Tishbite. His heritage, you might not know his father and mother, but he was known he was a Benjamite. Uh -huh. This is found in... I think first chronicles uh -huh. it says that he was a benjamite now the benjamite family is the same family that saul came from it was known as a family of warriors so he didn't just come from nowhere he had a family he had a clan so just because we don't know who his mother was does not mean we don't know whom and where he came from so that when we when the bible now says he was a man just like us <laughs> he was a man just like us and when he comes, immediately there is problem. Why? Because he even gets a nickname. What's Elijah's nickname? The Traveler of Israel. <laughs> when they see him, they are like, what are you doing here, the Traveler of Israel? Why? Because when he wanted to kill an innocent man, Elijah stood and said, uh -uh. not only that blood you've poured, that wife of yours will be eaten by dogs and the blood will be licked by dogs. Traveler of Israel. Hey, traveler of Israel. Traveler of Africa. Traveler of Israel. Traveler of Africa. Because we just can't sit and watch injustice and keep quiet. 